So we are sort of in a roll today um, looking at other devices and this one is the Meshtastic, how it's pronounced, Meshtastic kit and this one specifically is, let me see, the kit that comes from Rack Wireless. Now let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. So this is uh, obviously, I'm shaking. <laughs> And the camera is shaking as well. So this is a DIY do-it-yourself kit, uh, which should contain uh, all you need, except for a case, I think, to build, oops, we've got screws in there, to build your very own communication device, offline, an offline commu communication device that's been, I think it's been around for about, Two years now this uh, technology or the, the the project so we have our screws different sizes uh, and these will be uh, parts of it will be placed on the board set that aside you've got uh, two different kinds of uh, with sticky tape two different kinds of antennas uh, this one is specifically um, for that a signal plus 501 dash something uh, but it says it's uh okay this is the bluetooth antenna <laughs> that was easier and this other one is the the lower antenna which runs at uh, 902 to 928 uh, megahertz cool uh, you obviously need antennas for any communication device, so that's a, sort of a no-brainer. And this is the heart of the device. Being careful here not to drop it, or because not knowing how hardy it is. Right. So, and that's the other side. Let's try to read this. It uh, it's got a USB-C uh, powering on it. Let's see if we can get this close enough. There we go. The rack for 630 is part of this kit. And uh, let me see. So you've got uh, this pin here, interesting uh, pin out here. And there is a, I think uh, this particular chip here is got pre-installed. There are uh, SBIO expansion ports, and there are two slots, slot A and slot B, as we can see. Let's also take out this uh, a bunch of cables in there, and it's just a bunch of, this is the USB-C cable to USB-A, that's to power everything. So it looks like this is it, this is the kit itself. Uh, I was expecting more. Yes, but, um, right, so re-looking at, let's look at this from the side. So this kit, uh, well, I will be thankful that this kit comes sort of pre-assembled. So if we look at the side, uh, we already know that this part up here, uh, up here, this 4630 uh, is actually on top of this, uh, this main board here so it's already pre-connected we don't have to worry about it uh, and this part here is where I guess where we connect uh, gently those antennas I just oh yeah so there we go so the Bluetooth antenna goes there and the lower antenna goes here and uh, that should be pretty much it uh, we connect the USB-C um, and th I think, yeah, that's it, USB-C. And the other part for the initial setup, if I've read, as far as I've read, uh, connects to your PC, so uh, most PCs are still having uh, USB-A. Then you go to the website, I think it's the Meshtastic, Meshtastic website, and you flash the compatible firmware um, to this one, and you should be set for that. Um, that is before you start connecting, oh, then you also need the, the app on your phone. 
Now let's take a look at this other. I got an extension or an expansion device here. This is for the, uh, the it says GNSS, GPS location module. So I think, and I thought that would be one of those useful add-ons. So let's open that up. So it's just, uh, it's folded and nothing more. Let's take this out. As an official uh, expansion, this is a the WizBlock uh, GNSS GPS uh, module, right? The Rack Twelve Five Hundred. All right, let's see what's in this before we start flashing. Ooh, nothing else. So. I guess two two pieces with uh, and it comes with uh, there is an expansion board so uh, the way this works and why I like and why I decided on to this uh, with this particular uh, system this whiz block uh, from rack is that uh, it's uh, totally expandable using these modules so we will there's that, uh, it's hard to, there we go, focus. So this particular part is where you will connect that GPS module, just clip on there. Now we need to figure out how to connect this piece with this piece. And I think uh, it should sort of get plugged in or screwed on somewhere. I uh, still, oops, these small things. Let me see, let me try to, I'm gonna try to figure this out, give me a second. Okay, so before, uh, let me bring you back to the different expansion areas here first. So I only mentioned uh, slot A and B there in the middle, but, and then the, um, there's a different size, um, slot there on the a little upper on the right so those are different sizes and those are not compatible with this module just from the width of it but if you flip this over uh, you can actually see that we actually have um, two more expansions slot C and slot D trying to put this into focus so lots of expansion here. Uh, these two appear to be of the similar slot si sizes as A and B, right? Uh, but I still haven't figured out how to correctly connect this to this. It is an official expansion, but I think you just have to decide where you want to clip it. Anyway, so that's it. Um, the next steps here are obviously to uh, get this flash and connected. So this is just a quick look at what this um, This module provides from Wiz and Wizboard and Rack All right, so that's it um, I'll let you know how this whole thing comes together once I have the application installed on the phone and I've got everything flashed so until the next video,